What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. Got something very exciting. Hopefully this fits, but behind me right here, we have the Battle Aero chassis mount splitter for the 2015 and up WRX and STI. And um, we're gonna attempt to put it on the Impreza today and hopefully it bolts right up. I'm guessing it is. We will find out here shortly, but here's what you get when you order your chassis mount splitter. I actually ordered from Mod Infinite Motorsports. Came pretty quickly, so shout out to them. We get two big boxes here. I'm guessing this box has all the brackets and whatnot, and then the big box obviously is the splitter itself. So for those who may be new to the channel, I do have a 18 WRX front lip on this car, and I made it fit with the straight pieces in the corner. So I know width wise, we might be pretty good with the splitter, but it's more of where the chassis points are and whether it lines up to the splitter or not. So let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we got to work with. So here we got the edging for the splitter. Pretty much this goes right at the edge so that it's a nice smooth finish. Comes with two battle rail stickers, the bracket of some sort. I'll crack these open and show you guys more detail. Got a bunch of pieces here. Here's a winglet right here. These will bolt right up to the splitter. I uh, so love this design. It's like a nice wavy pattern. Got two of those obviously, or the other one. And this bracket, I can already tell, goes right in the center. So this is probably one of the ones where I'm not sure if it'll fit. So here is everything that comes in this box. We got the winglets there, side brackets, some more brackets. Some brackets for the center piece here. There's that center mount there. Edging, like I mentioned earlier, the two stickers. And of course, all your hardware in this bag right here. Here's the front splitter wrapped in here. So here's the splitter itself. You guys didn't know, it is wooden, so nice thick piece of wood I'd say about a half inch five eighths thick of course all the holes are pre-drilled so everything should line up I believe you might have to drill something on the side but we'll find out here but yeah I'm actually gonna mock it up real quick with this bumper and see what it looks like on the floor So this is what I figured would happen is because this lip flares out a lot that's why this edge is kind of sunken in like that but width wise we should be pretty good you guys can see that yeah this adds about like a half inch so this thing's gonna be slammed or close to slammed on the floor once this is on but check it out guys really excited it's like I have a snow plow once again so I think it's gonna look decent regardless of how it sits it's gonna make the car look a lot more aggressive for sure. But what I'm gonna do now is put the car up in the air and see where we can mount this thing. So this is based on the prototype picture they have on their Instagram. I think we're using stuff on this side. Should be something in the center here to bolt to. Not sure, to be honest. I don't know. There's, there's something to bolt onto here. So I'm gonna figure that out real quick and report back. So it's been a few weeks since I filmed that last clip and I can confirm that nothing fits pretty much. I do have the splitter installed, but um, kind of had to do some modifications to make this fit. This is definitely not the optimal way to mount this thing because you do want all chassis points to be mounted. But the way I have it, it should work and it has worked for the past three to four weeks since I bought the splitter. So I'm just going to show you guys how I put this thing on, which brackets I used. Um, definitely don't expect this part to be a direct bolt on because there's no way. <laughs> I mean, the main brace, the center brace does not fit. This brace right here, this is supposed to go right in the center and I guess on the WRXs they have some sort of mount for this somehow, but on the Impreza here, it is not the same. So yeah, save you guys some of the trouble in case you thought this was direct bolt-on, it is not at all. But today I want to revisit this video because I was gonna scrap it earlier, but I figured I should 
might as well show you guys how I got this on and I'm actually going to be adding some bracing to it because right now all that's supporting the splitter is two mounts in the front and it's been like that for a month. I've scraped this thing, I've hit this thing so many times and it has held on amazingly. So definitely can make it work but it's definitely not recommended. So if you want to keep going with this, do it at your own risk. But if not, just find a splitter that actually fits this car, which good luck with that, because there's not, not much for that either. Want to see how I got this to work? Continue watching. So let's just take a quick look at how this thing looks. As you can see with the 18 plus WRX front lip, it does line up pretty nice, I guess. It's not perfect. I think this was designed to run a different style front lip, but honestly, it's not that bad. It does make the car a lot lower. Now, I was touching the ground before, but I think what happened is I did hit a really huge bump and it kind of flared the splitter up. So I'm actually gonna fix that today as well. Yeah, here's what it looks like, guys. Got the end plates mounted up as well. Everything is cool. Definitely love how aggressive the car looks with it on. Quite unbelievable that I'm able to drive around this thing. And honestly, it adds like about a half inch to five eighths ground clearance, or I guess subtracts the ground clearance. So this thing is about a half inch thick, maybe closer to three quarters. My ride height of this thing is pretty low. Right now I'm aired out, but yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I wanna fix this gap here. Hopefully we can get this to touch the floor because it has before. It's just the way I accidentally hit a bump too hard. It just flared up the thing, but I think if I had more brackets, it wouldn't have done that. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right here, I'm gonna install these two brackets right here. So I have this L bracket that goes to your fender, but as you can see, it's obviously too short. So I actually have no idea how this is supposed to mount on the WRX's. I probably am missing some brackets, maybe. I'm not sure. But regardless, I bought some strong ties from Home Depot. I'm gonna drill two holes in this. Try to get them as equal as possible and use that to mount the hardware onto the fender. And should be pretty good. So at least we'll have bracing on the side. Because right now, like I mentioned earlier, only in these middle parts here. And I'll show you guys that when I take the bumper off. But of course, before that, you gotta air up the car. Let's take a closer look at what brackets I was able to use. Bam, right there and right here. So this is mounted. See where this reservoir tank is for the washer fluid? Right there, there is a mounting point there that sort of fits with this bracket. And I had to extend these holes down here because my front lip is too thick. So I actually drilled a new hole up there just so this would sit lower because otherwise it wouldn't clear. So you guys, may have a different experience, but on this side it's about the same idea. I had to drill an additional hole right in the front here to make this work. And then you can align the bracket how it is, but the way I have it, it can really only go in one way. So it's kind of what we're working with here, but it is bolted to the chassis. So it is still a chassis mount splitter, but obviously I wouldn't stand on this thing or anything because it probably won't go too well. Initially, I did think I was able to put the center brace somewhere here, but as you can see, there is no way that is gonna fit. But on the side here, there's a hole right there. So this is where this L brace will go. And I'm not really sure how you're supposed to mount this normally, but I'm gonna place it here. And I think I can get a brace up to there from here. That is the idea. This kind of like this, I guess. Maybe slightly tilt it, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drill those holes We'll see how we can mount this thing. Other than that, that's pretty much how it's gonna be. So, and we're back. So, here's what I ended up doing. That we showed earlier, those strong tie things are now attached to the fender, attached to this L brace here. So, gives this piece a lot more support. And I think this should do it in terms of making it more stable because before this was pretty floppy, but now, Seems a little more balanced. Here's one thing I do have to complain about Battle Aero, this particular product. Look at the windlet, guys. It is already chipping, and I'm not sure how. This is a brand new kit. I never dropped these, nothing. And this just chips off at the slightest touch. Pretty annoying because it's really just gonna end up chipping the whole thing. So yeah, it looks pretty terrible. Anyway, just to chip all of it off and just paint it or something, but. I might do something about this as a temporary fix, but yeah, that is my one complaint about this product. But otherwise, pretty solid. So this brace is strong enough, drill two holes. Hopefully when I hit the splitter, it doesn't mess up my fender because this brace is pretty close, but I think it should be all right. So got that on that side and we got one on this side as well. So yeah, 
that is the chassis mount splitter. So I'm going to air out with the bumper off and then we'll see how even it is. It should be pretty decent at this point. Looks like we're still a little crooked, but honestly, whatever. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I'm sure something got bent or something. I don't know. Anyway, still not that bad. I'm actually looking into getting a different tire setup and everything should be nice and tucked after that. But as of right now, it does not touch the ground. But that's okay, it doesn't look that bad. It's just a little bit slanted. Still can't really fit anything under here, but yeah, it is what it is. Perfect. That will conclude today's video. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx. Check out Katana Style, katanastyle.com, and at katana.style on Instagram. Currently working on the Series 3 sticker drop, so I will be closing down the site here soon. So if you haven't copped the sticker for 20% off, feel free to head to the site, katanastyle.com. And yeah, I uh, might as well announce this here. If you made it this far, I am looking for a new project car. Uh, no, this car is not going anywhere, but I would like something new to work on, you know, and then maybe I can decommission this car and do some crazy stuff with it. But yeah, I'm looking for a project car. I'm not going to say what yet. It may come to as a surprise to some of you what I want to get and honestly it depends whether I can find this car or not so stay tuned for what that is I think it's time you know I've done so much work to this car it's been seven years almost and I definitely want something else to work on and I think it would add a lot to the channel if I had another car to work with and take you guys along that journey anyway if you're into that sort of thing subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time